order. Determine that there is a quorum present. Commissioner Wardlaw, Commissioner Vasquez, Commissioner Nettleton, Commissioner Flores, and myself, we have a quorum. If y'all will please rise for the pledge of allegiance. Commissioner Vasquez, if you will please stand up, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Citizens' comments. Uh, I have two. Mr. Baker, Mr. Skip Baker, if you want to come up. Yes, sir. Sure. Just two, so I think it's good. <laughs> Just really quickly, it's uh, I have a couple things to say. I represent two organizations, and then I represent myself as well. So, Military Affairs Association and the Chamber of Commerce, Del Rio Chamber of Commerce, is for SC Ranch is not in favor of this particular. Uh, project because of the location. So that's kind of our position on that. And as a parent, and as I'll talk to you about this, when I, I just got into this on the Monday night when you guys got together, and as, you know, we got up to speed on it, and what I saw was that I, as a parent, would not want to go to SC Ranch. It's not where I live, it's not close by. It's in, as a parent, I wouldn't want to go back and forth. So that's my opinion on that as a parent. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ms. Fuentes. Good morning, uh, Judge Owens and Commissioners. My name is Sandra Fuentes. I'm a co-chair of the Border Organization. We are here this morning to encourage the Commissioner's Court to table item 30, 31, and 32. This community has been polarized by this item by this issue of the sports complex. I, I don't think that there's, no one in, uh, disagrees with it for the need of fields for the children of Del Rio and Valverde County. That's not the issue. The issue apparently is the location. We are asking, we are respectfully asking the court to table it, everyone, take a deep breath, take a step back. Let's weigh other options. Let's, Think outside the box. Maybe there's some property out there that'd be more convenient for everyone. The uh, board organization, I think it was over 10 years ago, that uh, helped uh, the chamber in protection, uh, protecting lawful and air force base. Okay? So, I, I, you know, I don't know whether there's a true encroachment on the base, but if there is, we will definitely take a stand against that. Uh, I'm not too sure that the, we're not too sure that the um, fairgrounds is the better option. So we are here to encourage the court to just slow it down for a little bit, a month, a month. Have more discussions and look at other options. I think that this community has been polarized enough. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Those are the only to be able to have your citizens' comments. If y'all don't mind, if the court doesn't mind, I'll go to item 31. Judge, I'd like to make a motion on item 31 to table and to look for alternative locations. Uh, I believe there is some opportunities for alternative locations. I'll second that for discussion. Uh, you know, I'm all about, if there's other land options, I'm all for it. But the sports complex is not going to work at the fairgrounds. And if it's not going to work at the Essie Ranch, if there's some other land options, I'm open for discussion on that. I will amend my motion not to look at the fairgrounds as an option, but to look at other property. Second and second. I have a motion. Commissioner Nettleton, second Commissioner Flores. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? <coughs> Five zero vote. Thank, Thank you. Y'all. Item 32, discussion possible. I make a motion to table this item until we can uh, come up with a plan about what direction we're going to go. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Nelson. Second, Commissioner Flores. Um, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Again? Thank you all. Uh, 
Item four, approving or and or amending minutes from previous meetings. No. Second. <coughs> I have a motion to Mr. Nettleton, so Commissioner Flores, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Uh, I'm going to skip around a little bit. We have, I'm going to go to item 17, if y'all are okay with that. <coughs> item 17, discussion of possible license to hire uh, Tommy Mater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps correcting me. I'm just waiting to see if he's going to do it again. And rebel. <laughs> set salary as our county agent. Approval budget adjustment is needed to set salary. Uh, I believe uh, you were hired at the 69 and change. Our part was going to be 19570 as what is in our base pay. Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. That's what you had sent us. I will make a motion to hire. Mr. Tommy Yader. Second. At the uh, dollar amounts described on the uh, agenda item. You're good? Yes, sir. Awesome. Happy. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got a motion, Commissioner Flores. Second. Second. Commissioner Nettleton. Like I told you earlier, you become very highly recommended. Uh, you your hands. You speak Spanish, right? So, sorry. You speak Spanish? No, it's just. Uh, it's it's been a while since I have, but yes, sir. <laughs> Are you checked? Might not learn good Spanish, but you'll learn something. <laughs> well, the cuss words I'm really good with. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get a lot of that. <laughs> uh, again, uh, we have a motion, Commissioner Flores, second, Commissioner Nettleton, all those in favor. All right. Uh, when do you plan to start? May 2nd, Monday, May 2nd. All right. Yeah. We look forward to it. Right. Did you Thank say you. something? Are you good? You did, you know, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad I had something all planned. Good. Thank you all very uh, much. Again, like I said earlier, welcome to our family. Uh, we fight and squabble sometimes, but we still are all family. So if y'all ever need anything, let us know. All right. Thank you. I appreciate Thank y'all for coming down. <laughs> uh, I sleep a little bit at night. Uh, item four, approving under amending minutes from previous year. We already did that. Item six, approving monthly reports from elected officials. No. Second. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton, second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero votes. Approving bills for payment. Move. Second. A motion, Commissioner Flores, second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero votes. Item may discussion possible action to improve auditor's report. Move. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Uh, motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second. Commissioner Flores. Any, any questions on auditor's report? Everything good. Good. Great. In favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Item nine, discuss the possible action on hiring two, two part time employees for the 63rd District Court, not to see it. An hourly rate of $18 per hour to be paid from Operation Loan Stock. Move. Second. And motion, Commissioner Nelson, and Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And very against. Five zero vote. Uh, item ten. That's not the good one. So no action needed on item ten. Uh, item eleven. Discussion matters related to COVID. Again, it looks like our numbers are coming down. Uh, we just got back a little bit from spring break. So if it's going to go up, it'll be this week here. Um, yeah. Is my understanding that? Some of the free stuff, the, the vaccines and all that, they run out of money on the federal level, or are we still able to We still have, we can still get uh, money through the star request, or get vaccines through the star request. Uh, this past week, the uh, consulate had uh, asked, have been asking if we would uh, work with them to get vaccines. Uh, they found another avenue, and their plan is to vaccinate over 10,000 uh, individuals there on the bridge. And that's ongoing right now. So this past week, they started on, I'm going to say, I thought it was going to be Tuesday, but I think they started on Wednesday. Uh, and they're vaccinating the first group that, that we had done. Uh, but there's still, uh, there's still vaccine out there. Uh, we can't <coughs> apply for it. I know that the, the request, when we do a clinic, there's nobody showing up. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just hardly anybody showing up. Any, um, History on the second booster shot? Uh, I mean, do we have any available here? We do. We do. Okay. When they have the clinics. And we can, we, what we can do is have a roll and push that out to y'all and give y'all okay. uh, copies of when the clinics are being had uh, at the mall. 
Any other discussion? We good? Uh, the discussion on immigrants. Jesus Christ. Uh, where do we start? Uh, last week, uh, NGOs pushed out a couple hundred a day. And the one, one, one day, they, three, three, 396, I think, is the number that I got. Uh, we have had discussions with, uh, can I? Okay. We have had discussions with county judge and with mayors from surrounding counties. We had a little deal on Thursday, Friday about that they were going to blockade uh, our roads and uh, nobody's telling me to stop so if y'all tell me to stop i'll stop if not i'm going to keep going uh we were informed that they were going to blockade our roads keep our immigrants from moving through their county uh this was tried once before and we greatly appreciated at that time uh that, that county judge uh, not doing it uh and changing his mind but on thursday friday we did have conversations with another county judge and the mayor that they would be stopping our buses, stopping individuals uh, going through. Uh, we did get help from di several other law enforcement agencies if I just talking to everybody under the bus, uh, that uh, it would be illegal. I understand and I've explained to them that I greatly <coughs> understand the position that they're in, uh, but these individuals that they would be stopping or not staying in their counties. They're moving on to San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas. So in reality, the only you know, only counties that they would be affecting would be us on the, here on the river, that this is where they're coming and this is where they're landing. So for me to have for me to have a blockade or even an attempt at that anywhere in a county surrounding us, uh, and me to end up with two, three hundred individuals per day that I can't move out uh, would not be accepted. Uh, the good thing is, is that when I'm speaking with them, I don't have to watch my language like I am right now. So they completely understood, uh, and, and they reciprocated. They, you know, they can speak freely also. Uh, again, I understand the positions that they're in, uh, and they're trying to take care of their counties and take care of their cities, uh, uh, but I just don't think that a blockade for individuals that are going through their cities or through their counties is the answer. I did ask uh, a <coughs> county judge that I visited with on Sunday that I would greatly appreciate it if I was part of their meetings. Uh, you know, and, and maybe we can all sort of stand together uh, and present a case uh, to our federal government that this isn't working. Uh, one of the options was uh, you know, if, if you're going to bus them, uh, take them to a blue state. Uh, if they sign a piece of paper that they're willing to go, then it's not called kidnapping, like I've been told that I would be charged with if I put them on a bus and send them somewhere that they didn't want to be. So um, they will continue to come. Title 42, end of, the, end of this month, looks like it's going to go away. Uh, that was a tool in the toolbox. That toolbox has been thrown in the river. We don't have a toolbox, don't have any tools. Can they pick it up on their way through the river? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our community uh, is going to say last week on Thursday, Friday, uh, I counted, I called Roland and, you know, asking, we need some numbers. I said, Dude, I just, I just got off the overpass. Uh, I'm here at Gibbs. And we talked. By the time I got to, uh, to Pizza Hut. It looks like that's between Gibbs and Pizza Hut on Veterans. I counted a little over 70 individuals walking. Uh, when I got to Stripes on 14th Street, there was over 30 of them uh, there on the grass between the metal fence and 14th Street. And then there was over 50 of them uh, at Stripes. What are we talking so, about the individuals that are harassing people at gas stations and convenience stores and stuff like that? We will be getting with John uh, Sheehan, <coughs> communications with John last week to see if there's something that they can set up um, because we've never, this group here, I say this group, but what was, what we ended up with last week, uh, we had never seen since this started in 2019, people asking, as many people asking for money. We'd never seen that. Uh, we just, we just it, it didn't happen. I will tell you that, that you know, 
2019, everything up till this week, uh, we had never seen. If you could add, you could add everybody together, you just did not see the people asking for money like we did this week. Um, they're at Goodyear. <coughs> we stopped at a at a gas station across from H E B because there was looked like a lady. There was about four men around her. Asked her if she was okay. She said, "I just want to get my gas." Uh, and the men left. I mean, I, you know, I ain't gonna say they did something wrong or bad or anything, but you know, <coughs> they were around her. Uh, she was getting gas. Uh, again, I've never seen, other than this week, so many people with signs. And, and we're <coughs> the conversations that we're having right now is how do you get them out? And we need to be real careful. Because if we begin to provide buses for these individuals to leave at no cost, uh, more will come. Uh, and it's that simple. We, we, you, their, their communication network, what they have, and, and, and you know, I asked the lady at uh, HEB that was asking for money, I stopped and asked her, you know, why Del Rio? And all she could tell me is that we're friendly. That's what they keep hearing, that we're a friendly community. So we're getting more people here because we're friendly, uh, is what I was told by, by the, the lady that was holding up the sign at HEV. Um, I'm understanding there's a group down in Mexico of 20 or 30,000, two groups headed this way. Yes. <clears throat> one of them's closer to the border and one of them's further down into the interior of Mexico. That's what I understand. Do we know where they are along the border? I have to get that for you. Yeah. <clears throat> the only thing I'm concerned about is making sure our citizens are protected when they go to a convenience store or a field station or something. Like that. That's my concern. I understand we can't solve this problem. Um, that's a federal issue that we apparently have no clout to be able to deal with. So. Um, but we do need to make sure that our citizens are going to be safe and they can go where they need to go. Uh, again, <clears throat> we will get more. I mean, there's no way around it. They will, we will end up with more gear. Uh, the issue is going to be is, again, like you just said, how do we keep our citizens safe and how do we get them, how do we get the immigrants out of our town? Uh, it's a, it's a fine line between trying, you know, being, uh, humanitarian and trying to help and then just actually opening the door and end up with we created more of a problem for ourselves. Uh, San Antonio had sent us a letter to the people in the airport this last year that, and they're going to be inundated too. I mean they're not going to be able to take as many people as are fixing to come through. It's just it's going to be a sad place to be at. But <clears throat> That's where we're at. Hopefully the county judges and mayors that are meeting if they want to do a blockade. Uh, I, have, I have asked that if they would uh, invite us to that, maybe we come up with a solution that doesn't uh, affect uh, just one county uh, adversely. So, <coughs> any other questions, Commissioner? <coughs> we're good? No more? No, okay. okay, just thank you. All right. Uh, Discussion possible action regarding the reappointment renewal of Dr. J.J. Gutierrez as our local health authority for two years. If y'all would please take to this, I appreciate it. Motion to Thank you. A motion, Commissioner Nottleton, Senator Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor, <coughs> aye, 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 aye. vote. Item 14, discussion possible action to approve or extend the contract with the City of Del Rio for the alert sent service. Uh, that's the text message and everything that goes out. Second. A motion, Commissioner Nottleton. Are we paying for this or is it just we pay for it? And there's money in there already. A um, motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Discussion of possible action regarding an MOU with the City of Del Rio, San Felipe Del Rio Consolidated Independent School District, and Valley Regional Medical Center for the cleanup and pre sale preparation for properties to be sold at auction due to outstanding taxes. This is something that, that looks like we just keep getting hammered on uh, more and more. Uh, I think the one that, that does the most, I don't think, the one that does the most thing up, if I'm not mistaken, is Commissioner Wardlaw. Uh, they call him, he goes out there. The problem is that uh, we don't have an MOU. Uh, Commissioner Wardlaw is trying to help, does help. <clears throat> but Jesus Christ, why can't we sell these things before we have to clean them up? Is it at the point that we're going to sell them, they're already falling apart. Why don't, why don't, I mean, why can't they do a better job? 
getting rid of them. That way we don't have to go clean them. And then we don't get back because you're not getting reimbursed. Not at all. So, and we get these calls daily, Judge. So if, if, if the county's not getting reimbursed, and then if the city goes and does, they're not getting reimbursed, why are we cleaning them? Why can't we just sell them? I mean, could we send something to them just to tell them let's, let's get them off the books? Absolutely. I mean, first off, we can, when they call to say, can you come clean up? And we really shouldn't because we don't have any type of an agreement from a liability standpoint. Uh, you know, we're, we're taking on all the costs and all the risks. Oh, right. so, yeah, all the taxing entities are going to benefit from it. And there's no way for him to get paid. There's no way for the county to get paid. That's what I'm saying. We're, why would they draw liens on these properties in there? There used to be a process at the city, and I'm an altercation, and they didn't clean it up, it got cleaned, and there was a lien file. I understand until they sell it. The problem is, is that we have lots that are worth thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars, and there's thirty thousand oh, dollars. I understand. <clears throat> so there's no way, you know, there's no way to get rid of the property uh, because it's not worth forty-three thousand dollars. So it, it seems at some point. Just get rid of the property. I'm going to put it back on the time storm. Judge David, what what about the possibility of using teenage parolees for cleaning up, like on the weekends or something? Used to years ago, they did it. What's the possibility of that? I think we go with the MOU. Well, to work, I say. Well, uh, I agree with you. <laughs> Commissioner Nato, the MOU is a great idea, but maybe ask our, our attorneys that handle our taxes to get rid of these faster. Yes, and I, and I, I think we ought to involve them in this MOU process. <coughs> okay, I'll amend my motion to involve the tax attorneys in the process of how we dispose of these properties more rapidly. I have a motion, Commissioner Nelson. Second. Second, Second. Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? 5-0. <coughs> Item 16, discussion of possible action for Sacred Heart to use county property and life for Sacred Heart School Festival, April 24th. The property would be the stage, the electricity. They've always hooked up to the building right behind us. And then the light, uh, electricity to the, to the little plugs that are on the trees and stuff to run their jumping challenges. <laughs> But no charge. At no charge. Go ahead. No charge. No charge. I have a motion. Uh, I have a motion, Commissioner Flores, second Commissioner Wardlow, and Commissioner Middleton. I have a second, <laughs> Commissioner Vasquez. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Uh, we already took care of seventeen. Item eighteen: discussion of possible action on county judge to be a member of the start. Pro program and authorized to sign the resolution. This is the one with the woman shall be. Right. Uh, motion for Mr. Hamilton, second for Mr. Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Item 19, discussion possible action on office space <coughs> the probation department at the district courthouse on Broadway. Uh, I will make a motion to give the adult probation the office. Uh, I don't remember the number of the office. 108. 108. Second. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner uh, Wardlaw. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those against? 5 0 vote. Item 20 discussion possible action on setting aside money for the baseball fields on Pontera Road from the 500000 set aside for our co op fields from ARPA money and reimbursed building maintenance of 4500 We'd set aside 4500 uh, between the mounds and the, the stuff for the dirt, it wasn't going to be enough. And building maintenance is running short. So if we could set aside $5,000 out of the 500000 that would take care of both invoices. The motion is approved. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Wardenlaw. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Discussion possible action for any form application so people can apply for funds on money set aside for business out of our funds. Uh, Commissioner uh, Vasquez has one business that has come in, uh, a restaurant business that wants to to apply for some funds. Commissioner Flores uh, has, I think, two businesses that have come in and that they want to apply for funds. 
I know that we put a form together. I don't know if maybe we put some type of committee together or something to come up with the form, bring it back to the court to and see if we can hand out some. I'll make a motion to create a committee of Commissioner Vasquez and Commissioner Flores and Matt and uh, the attorney, uh, David and John Hoover. I have a motion from Commissioner Nettleton. Second. Second, Jim. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. I like this guy. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye, 5 0 vote. Item 22, discussion possible action to declare April 2nd as World Autism Awareness Day. Also, I'd like permission to uh, all the lights on the outside of the courthouse uh, turn them blue. Uh, as in favor, a motion to approve. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Item 23, discussion possible action on, on <coughs> Poverty County Flood Infrastructure Fund, TWDB, project number 40062, communication tower at Pandell and, and uh, flood early warning instrumentation sites. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. Morning. Uh, I'd like for the commissioners by the next meeting to uh, identify in your precinct some potential sites where you may consider having flood instrumentation uh, uh, material uh, placed there at those sites. This is part of the flood early warning system, uh, rainfall gauges, uh, electronic rainfall gauges, and also maybe stream flow instrumentation uh, gauges. Uh, we need these sites identified so we can proceed with the environmental uh, review on those proposed sites in conjunction with the site there at Pandell for the communication tower. Okay. You don't need any action on this right no, now? No, sir. Just, 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 just information. Just information so we can move forward. Yes, sir. Do I have any questions for Mr. Esser? Yeah. We're good. Thank you, Carl. Yes, Item 24, Approval Architectural Service Agreement between the Davis Powell Architect and Valverde County for the Park Range Facility Project funded by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and authorized county judge. Aye. Aye. A motion. Second. Second, Commissioner Roskis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? <coughs> 5 0 vote. <coughs> Item 25, authorize and approve Gary Harkins High Seawalt, Rusty Seawalt to drive the county suburban and pulling the 4-H trailers to 4-H events for kids and the use of a credit card for uh, the suburb. I have a credit card. Yes. Thank you. I have a motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We all vote. Uh, I know Commissioner Wardlaw and I spoke about this. <coughs> I don't know, Commissioner, if you've had a conversation with risk management because with our, our coverage, not cover anybody other than the county employee driving the county vehicle. If we uh, if we were to hire them on an, on a consultant type basis when they go to it, we just have to make sure that with Joanne that they're going to be covered. That's can, can you make that part of motion that we raise the money make sure they're covered? Second, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? Five zero vote. Discussion possible action to approve. Approval to ratify the use of the arena by the Board Patrol on March 24, 20, uh, March 24, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. is something that they've asked, and they're going to bring it back to more base. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton, <coughs> Commissioner Roskis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Item 27, discussion possible action to approval to transfer a 16-foot utility trailer from Fair Drums to Peace and Moyne. Motion. Second. I have a motion, David. Commissioner Wardlaw. There's no... We, can, we can't find any identification numbers. There's no uh, on this trailer. There's no we can, uh, marks of any kind. <coughs> there, there is a process to declare something abandoned. And what we can do is uh, Sheriff had, had actually helped us with the black trailer that y'all have. And he got a hold of the guy and he will pass. And then we can go through that process. And if there's nothing on there, then he can assign. Thank you. I uh, have a motion, Commissioner Wardlaw, second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? All right. All right. Five zero vote. Item 28, discussion possible action regarding the approval and issuance of a credit card and PICO fuel card for Precinct 2 Foreman Ray Salgado. Motion, motion, motion. Second. 
I have a motion Commissioner Vasquez, second Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Item 29, second Buffalo Latino resolution supporting the petition of Texas Commission on Environmental Quality Rule Change 2022 1075 PET, prohibiting the agency from authorizing the discharge of treatment of domestic wastewater pollutants into any creek and streams. Located within the drainage area of the Lower Pecos River, Devil's River, and San Felipe Creek. One question. San Felipe Creek, uh, well, I'll just open up a giant can of worms. Uh, so we don't currently discharge into San Felipe Creek. Okay. But the, 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 uh, this is to make sure that when they do, uh, TCQ is in the process of doing a rule change on how they're going to do this. The Devil's River Conservancy is asking to look at this. I think it, we, we need to make sure we protect our river from <coughs> contamination. This is simply a resolution supporting the request, the TECQ, to, to rewrite the rules pertaining to these. So I will make a motion to approve the resolution. I will second that, Judge. Yes. I have a motion, Commissioner Levitin, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Right. Aye. Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Item 30, discussion possible action of approval to apply for grants for future outdoor and indoor facilities and recreation areas. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Gordis. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Okay. Item 33, discussion possible action on ordering a special election for two constitutional amendments to be listed as as of state proposition number one and as of state proposition number two to be held on May 7th, 2022. Hello. Why are we holding these in May? You're, you're off. The governor said them that way uh, because they're amendments to the Constitution. And I believe the Constitution amendments came up for election in November. However, they you know they have these two changes they need to make, so they want to implement them as soon as possible. And I think they're also trying to stay away from the November election since they can't put the constitutional amendments on a general election. And this gives us enough time to call for the election? It's, we're going to have to do it because we also have a uh, primary runoff on May 24th. This is, these are going to run back to back, but it's the governor's order, so. Why would we not have all the elections on the same day? Because this is out of the county uh, to pay for all this, right? Yes, because it's a constitutional and we will be yeah, holding so one for the city and the school. And if we have a runoff, we're going to have places. You know, you have to have two sets of polling places. Yes. Yeah. Now, the, the, the runoff, the runoff will be, the state will be funding that, but we do have to put it on. Okay. That's fine. We've got to do what we got to do. But okay. Can I say one more thing? Right. On any election, Commissioner Nettleton? Um, on any election, the state requires we do early voting, even mm -hmm. if it's not one. So, uh, unfortunately, these ran back to back. Well, I mean, it is what it is. It just would have been nice if they would just schedule them on the second day. That would have been it. That's fine. Unfortunately, they don't ask us. <laughs> that, 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 that would have made sense. <laughs> that would have made sense. Yeah. I mean, the governor could have ordered the election to be held on whatever they wanted to hold. That's not what yeah. Yes. I mean, if you're going to hold the runoff election, you could have just ordered it to be that day, but it is what it is. That's I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second. Second, Judge. Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. Right. Uh, anybody against? 5 0 vote. Item 34, discussion Thank possible you. action on authorizing judge to sign property renewal schedule. That's for our insurance. So, I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second. 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 Commissioner Wardlaw, seconded. All those in favor? Aye, five zero vote. Now we're just Melissa's stuff. She just fills up the whole agenda for us. <laughs> Item thirty. You guys keep giving me more. Second possible action granting authority to turn this to sign the bond council's award contract for McCall, Arhurst, and Horton. RFQ for bond council was awarded February one, twenty twenty two. Second. And motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Uh, anybody against five zero vote. Item thirty six discussing possible action and awarding bid twenty two dash zero three lighting and electrical option bid for Texas C D B G seven two two zero four seven nine. I'll call baseball field improvements to Hackmo Services LLC in the amount of three hundred and ninety six thousand six hundred and eighty two dollars an authorized county judge to sign contract upon review by county attorney. Well this is the lowest bidder? Yes. yes. Motion, <coughs> second. I have a motion, motion, Commissioner Flores, second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Item 37. Discussion possible action and awarding bid 22 03 grass and skin infield, Texas CDBG 7220479. I'll base popular improvements for 159,533 square feet of fourth Bermuda sod to Sanford Irrigation and Landscaping in the amount of $115,181.69 and authorized county judge to sign contract. Motion to approve. Second. Where are we getting this money from? This was uh, money that we uh, grant for $500,000. And then uh, we also set aside the $500,000 from Marco to make up the difference. We had uh, out of the $500,000, there was $340,000 left for construction after. Uh, going out for bids, architect, uh, and uh, grant services and everything. So out of the three, we have three hundred forty-four thousand dollars for the actual construction, and we set aside another five hundred thousand dollars also out of that. So we, are we going to use a parking lot? Oh, we not, I mean, uh, fix the parking lot. If we have enough money, we need to. I mean, that's no, I mean, we need to. <coughs> I have a motion, Commissioner Nelson. Excuse me, no. I make the motion. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, motion was made by Commissioner Flores. Gustavo Flores. Thank you. <laughs> Seconded by Commissioner Nelson. Uh, all those in favor? Anybody against? Five zero vote. Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> Item 38, discussion possible action and awarding bid 2203 irrigation, Texas CDBG 7220479, ACOA baseball field improvements to Sanford Irrigation and Landscaping in the amount of $68,754.68 and authorized county judge signed contract upon review by county attorney. Move. Second. A motion, Commissioner Flores. Second, Commissioner Nettleton. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Five zero vote. Item 39, discussion possible action to approve the addition of five new hotspots to our first net account for the Sheriff's Office. Move. Second. A motion, Commissioner uh, Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? Five zero vote. Item 40, approval to declare the following items as surplus property and designate for Proper disposition. Disposition. Disposition may include, but not limited to, option, reassigned, recycled, and/or destroyed. A 2003 starting quad truck, a swing line shredder, a five-ton paying AC unit, another five-ton paying AC unit, old metal and pipe from horse stalls, 2003 Ford F-250, a Caterpillar 4160 backhoe, a 2000 Freightliner FL uh, Freightliner uh, bucket truck. Motion to approve. Thank you. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Five zero vote. Discussion plus item 41. Discussion uh -huh. possible <coughs> authorized to transfer for a 2003 Sterling Claw Truck. Uh, then K51190 in the amount of 25000 from Precinct 1, Commissioner Wardlaw, to Precinct 3, Commissioner Robert Bo Nettleton. Motion to the nice. The price is too low. I'm just kidding. What I've got to say is it's a gift. It's a gift. Um, yeah, help us. Good negotiator. Motion to approve. And all I can think of is, oh, shit. We can do it. Okay. You weren't serious, by the way. No, I was serious. No, I'm just kidding. Correct. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I have a motion, Commissioner Middleton. I need a second. Second, Commissioner Vaughn. 
Uh, I did pass for all those before I get text messages. It was just You're the word. king of that name. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're well known. Oh. Thank you, Commissioner Floyd. I have a motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero vote. Uh, Judge, before the, the year's over, we're going to crown you with, with a nice big crown <laughs> concerning that. Oh, my God. You know, though, I. You're good, you're good. Y'all y'all have no clue, though, with what y'all did earlier. Uh, the gratitude that I have on what, on what y'all did earlier on 31 and 32. I really do. Uh, and really well, you're at work with, 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 with y'all. And well, I can tell you right team. now, uh, you, know, you know, what that really do. We're going to go with that route. We're going to hit that road. Uh, okay, under judge's comments, <laughs> <laughs> under judge's comments, I will tell y'all that I really do appreciate what y'all did. And I had a comment from a council member who said uh, that he thought the city was really screwed up and the county was really screwed up. So I'm going to go ahead and send it back out to him live and in public. No, nah, y'all take the cake. So, <laughs> uh, but I, again, I really do. Uh, it shows that this court, after everything that we've been through, everything that we go through, uh, is still willing to work with each other, and we're all about finding solutions and what's best for our community. That was under judge's comments, David. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Okay. Item 42. Uh, discussion possible action to approve the purchase of a 2015 Freightliner day cab VIN number GJ1392 in the amount of $62,840.79, bid number 21-15, resulted in no bids received. Second. Uh, motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item 30, 40. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. <laughs> I'd like to thank Melissa on that truck thing. I've been working on that for how many deal? months? Was that a good deal or what? No, but it was, a, it was taking so long. He was trying to get me to pay for it with the other <laughs> item. He could have. He could have. You should have taken that item. And all that was under the <laughs> papers. That's taking months. No, we're still discussing the truck. <laughs> item 43, discussing possible action on amendment to field use requests from Ray Hasselman, Little League, Mr. Hasselman would like to change from field two to field one at the 60 acres at Walmart, original request submitted Commissioner Floyd. Motion. Second. second. Motion, motion Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Flores. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Anybody against? Five zero vote. Item 44, Mr. Bond. Discussion of possible action on National Library Week, National Library Workers Day event being held at the library April 5th, 2022. Mr. Bond, do you want to say anything? Sure, yeah. We always walk up here and we do it and then we just walk back. We're going to give you an opportunity to talk. Uh, yeah, like the judge said, we are having a National Library Week uh, event and National Library Workers Day, uh, April 5th. I have some flyers I'm going to leave up here to from 11 to 12. That's when this event will be. Um, we have several people that would like to say a few words about the library. Uh, this is, let's see, Ms. Dr. Carlos Rios is going to come. Uh, Ms. Paloma Vargas from the Mexican Consulate will be there. I hope Judge will be there. Uh, and some of you, maybe. Uh, Representative Eddie Morales is coming. And I will say that I have not got a response from some people yet including Matthew McConaughey, who <laughs> I kind of know, and I haven't, he hasn't replied yet. But he has a book on our library, and we'll see if he comes. they show up. Yeah. Tried to keep away from politics on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit uh, that morning about what the library means to me since I've been here, and Ms. Reba Benavides, the children's librarian. I'm going to talk a little bit about the summer reading program, now that we're a little bit past COVID, that we can have in programs uh, in, in library programs for the kids. Uh, Friends of Valverde Library will be having refreshments, and because 
a pretty healthy budget, we can have that big five-layer cake also. <laughs> so uh, thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> so we're, everybody's invited, and like I say, I just ran these off, or I would have already passed them out to everybody. It's just a little flyer of invitation. What time? Anybody and everybody that wants to stop by the library. What time? It is April 5th. National Library well, what, Week is that week. What, what time? What time are you doing? This? Ten. ten. ten or, uh, well, actually, I say ten because ten we are having a story time hour for kids, but eleven to twelve is the actual event where people will be speaking and and eating cake afterwards. You need any action from us? You don't need any. Action. No, okay. just action to come to the event. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Item 45, discuss the possible action on purchase of three Dell workstations for the Family Violence Center in the amount of $3,864 for budget line item from the battered woman's shelter. We have a line item there. Do we need any computers in that table? We did, but they're not compatible. They're, not. they're, they're outdated and okay. they don't meet our requirements, yeah. A motion, Commissioner Levitin. Second. Any second, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody against? 5-0 vote. Uh, item 46, discussion possible action on a change order for the 63rd District Courtroom Audio Video Upgrade in the amount of $6,294.96 from available appropriations. Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Project keeps growing. Yeah. I came in a little late to this project, but this key piece would allow him to attend uh, virtual meetings along with himself and, and any attorney at the table. So this piece wasn't added to the design that the vendor did the first round. Do we have a place to get that map? We have other than other than contingency. No, there, we have uh, we, we keep pulling from a line item that the sheriff has not used and look like he's going to use that we set aside hundred and forty some odd thousand dollars for in capital project. Is there a yeah. motion to take it out of that line item? Second. <coughs> a motion, Commissioner Levitin, second Commissioner Flotis. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Five zero votes. Item 47. Yeah, discussion. Are we all good with that? We are. Okay. <laughs> Item 47. Discussion possible action on purchasing ammunition, which was not available last year, requesting that the funds come from contingency <laughs> 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 come from contingency funds, as last year's Sheriff's Department ammunition fund was transferred to contingency fund due to non-use. Correct. The issue here is that this was a PO that was ordered. The PO was a prior year, and the PO during the rollover process did not get rolled over. It was canceled in the new year. However, they were able to go into their inventory during the ammo shortage. When we all went to Walmart, and there's no ammo. So what we're looking to do is what the sheriff would like to do is to rebuild the inventory of ammo. He probably feels it's a good idea to have extra ammo, law enforcement. How much are we talking about? Uh, I think $6,000. $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6,
and I believe that this is a, it, uh, the court made a decision some time back when any brass is generated from the gun range, but that goes back into the ammo account also. I don't know how much we have, but would you like to get rid of it? Motion to approve the money in which you can. The, the auto stuff, the, the scrap from auto goes into the automotive account, and, and the, from right. the gun range goes into the ammunition account. Okay. Uh, motion to approve and put the scrap in the auto account and the brass in the gun range. In the okay. ammo account. A motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Second by Commissioner Juan Carlos Vasquez. <laughs> and we'll proceed to. <laughs> All those in favor? Thank, uh, thank you. you. Anybody again? 5 0 vote. Item 49 Jerry Russ, possible action to reactivate the countywide burn ban for three months, effective 3 29 2022. Mm -hmm. um, motion, Commissioner Wardlaw. Second, Commissioner Nelson. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Mr. Martinez, item 50, discussion possible action on amending the county <coughs> budget as to job titles to reflect that the position of executive assistant will now be executive administrative assistant and office or slash office manager. The position of office manager will now be executive legal assistant and the position of legal secretary will now be paralegal and to authorize the county auditor to continue issuing checks accordingly. Move. A motion for Mr. Evanson, second Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? 5 0 vote. Item 51. Discussion of possible action on paying 50% of the salary of Daniel Esquivel, Assistant County Attorney from Operation Lone Star Grant, as he is assigned to handle <coughs> Operation Lone Star cases from intake review to disposition. Paying 33.33% of the salary of paralegal Maria Valderas. And 33.33% of the salary of Executive Secretary and Assistant Alex Cervantes from the Operation Lone Star Grant as they are assigned to handle the intake and filing of charging documents in, do in Operation Lone Star cases. Move. Second. And motion, Commissioner Nettleton. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a second, Dr. Commissioner. And if we, can, we, if we can make those retroactive to September 1st, our office has not applied any of this. Operation and I'll amend my motion to make a retroactive to what? September 1st? September 1st. September 1st of 2021. Correct. And second accepts, Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, 5 0 vote. Item 52 discuss a possible action on authorizing the county attorney to utilize the consulting service of Sonia Luna at no cost. And permit and permit her to retain the use of a Valverde County laptop, email address, and printer during the transition period. Motion. Second. Second. And motion, Commissioner Middleton. <coughs> Commissioner Vasquez. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Zero vote. Uh, and just Sonia, you'll give us a little bit of love, Sonia. She's she's retiring. Yes, Sonia uh, will be retiring after 34 years of. Or... Wow. Tremendous service uh, to the county attorney's office in Tavaverde County. Uh, her officially, her last day is Thursday, March 31st. Uh, it's going to be a tremendous loss uh, to my office. That's why we're having to change <laughs> job titles and job responsibilities because Sonia did so much. Uh, I can also say at this time, because she allowed me to say, it, um, this summer we'll be losing her sister, who'll be retiring as well, Sylvia Rivera who has 32 years of experience. So wow. we're losing 66 years uh, of experience in our office. How many attorneys have, county attorneys have they served? Wow. Um, 34 years. She started in around 1998. Sonia did. So I think they started with Carmen Rivera Worley mm -hmm. uh, and then throughout all of Anna's tenure. And and there, were, and it, there were four, right? No, no, I think that it was That's just three, a three. three. Just a three, yes, sir. Just a three. But, you know, over three decades of service between uh, the two of them. So, and, and we'll have, we'll have <coughs> time to take today for the Yes, we'll do that at a future date. Yes. Yes, thank you, Judge. All right. Well, we already took the vote on that one. Uh, human resource report, March 16, 2022 through March 29, 2022. Motion to approve. Do we need to set a salary here under the first one? The first one is the 19,000 something. 19,570. Yeah. 
And it was set the first one in 1937. Okay. I have a motion. I have a motion. Commissioner Nelson, second. Second. Commissioner Wardlaw, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Item 54, discussion possible action to approve the administrative services contract from equity services <coughs> for the administration of Albert County Self-Help Center and authorized county judge to sign. Second. Second. Motion, Commissioner Nettleton, Second Commissioner Vasquez, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. 5-0 vote. Anybody against? Item 55, closed session, consultation pursuant to Texas Government Code 551.0.1, parentheses 2, attorney client voting. <laughs> 551.07 contemplated litigation. C 551.072 regarding the purchase, exchange, lease, and go value of real property and possible action in open session thereafter. D 551.073 regarding the negotiated contract, lease, and value of property and possible action in open session thereafter. Y'all will give us the, the room. I'm going to take a little five minute break and then we'll come back in executive session. And <clears throat> it's 10 30. Uh, came back out of it, coming out of it. Got the session, we're out of the executive session. Uh, no action taken. I tabled it, but I'm going to wait for the next time. We're talking about Dr. J. Yeah. Item 56, Commissioner's Comments. Uh, item 57, County Judge's Comments. I threw some rocks earlier at the, <laughs> at the City Council. Uh, I do it plain and wholeheartedly and everything like that. So before you send me text messages, <coughs> don't. <laughs> Either way. Uh, uh, I will say that, and I'll say it one more time, number County judges come that uh, so do we get to go back to those <laughs> <laughs> this court uh, like I've told everybody else in every meeting that we have uh, outside of here I have been honored and uh, it's a privilege to serve with the individuals of this court and wholeheartedly uh, I do believe that every member of this court uh, does and is trying to do what is best for the constituents as well as every member and every constituent in Valverde County. Uh, the disagreements that we've had, uh, they've been disagreements, uh, we've been able to move forward and I really, really, really uh, do want to thank the members of this court uh, for their open uh, dialogue and discussions that we've had and look forward to serving with them um, at least for the rest of the year. And hopefully, God willing, um, not to throw in politics, but we'll be here on January 1st. <laughs> and we'll all be able to continue. Uh, but again, this court, in, in my opinion, is, is just an amazing group of people. With that, if y'all don't mind, we'll adjourn. And we'll meet. Meetings adjourned. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.